Today, I'm gonna to be making the Levain Bakery Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. Um, I got this recipe from modernhoney.com and I will leave the link in the description. So if you want to make these cookies, you can. Um, we're gonna go over the ingredients you need first. You need one cup of cold butter cut into cubes. So that is two sticks of butter. You need one cup plus two tablespoons of brown sugar half a cup of just regular sugar, two eggs, two cups of flour, a half cup of cake flour, and I left the box out to show you this is what our cake flour looks like, one and a half cups of rolled oats, and I bought the quick cooking oats. In this bowl, you have several things. You have one teaspoon of cornstarch, three-fourths teaspoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then you need one and a half cups of raisins, and then optional is one cup of chopped walnuts. The original Levain Bakery, they do not put walnuts in theirs. Um, I had some walnuts, so what I'm going to do, this is only half a cup of walnuts. I'm going to divide the dough, um, and I'm going to do half the recipe with walnuts and half with oats because I think that'll be good. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 410 degrees and then in a uh, your bowl here you want to uh, cream together your butter and your sugars for about four minutes until it is fluffy. So our brown sugar, our regular sugar, and go for four minutes. Now at this point you want to add your eggs one at a time and you want to mix well in between each egg. to add the dry ingredients all except for the raisins and walnuts so I'm gonna go ahead and start us off with some and then I'm gonna gradually add it uh, this is your cinnamon and your cornstarch and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that in and then I'll probably go ahead and put all of the oats and cake flour but then for the uh, regular flour I'll add it a little at a time uh, just because it'll be It'll be a lot, and I want to make sure that it's stirred in well. So I can go ahead and put this in. This is your cake flour. And then the oats. So I'll probably stir this a little bit and then add the flour gradually. mixture and it is very 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 thick <laughs> so what you want to do at this point is you want to stir in your raisins so all of your raisins go in here and then at this point if um, also if you're making this recipe and you want to add your walnuts to the whole thing you can go ahead and add them to this bowl uh, you do not have to add walnuts like I said in the beginning that is totally totally optional um, but b because I'm only doing it, my dad is the one that requested I make him some oatmeal raisin cookies. And I do not know if he wants walnuts in his or not. So that's why I thought, well, I'll do half with and half without and we'll see the difference. Um, we'll see which one he likes the best. But at this point, I'm going to separate it into two bowls and then stir in the walnuts. And let me tell you, it's going to be quite a feat because this is so thick. <laughs> so I tell you what, I'm going to hand this over to Kevin, yeah. and I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to let Kevin uh, see. Well, I'm just honestly, they look good. I'm worried about underneath in the middle, and then I'll let Kevin. I got two of, of my Mason cash balls out. And I'm going to separate the dough into these two bowls, and then, then into one bowl, uh, we'll add the walnuts. It's pretty stiff. 
It is very, very stiff. Walnuts are in the pink box. with both of these mixes you're going to put them in the refrigerator for 15 minutes and then we'll be back so it's been 15 minutes this is the dough with uh with just raisins and i'm going to use my hands it it says to separate them into large um large uh, balls and then you place it on your uh your baking sheet here i have one of, what is that called kevin silicone silicone map so we're gonna do your you should be able to fit um six cookies on each one how much does it make total yeah total i don't know if it says servings 10. 10. so this then this is the uh, one with the walnuts but we want to go ahead and bake normally i would do all one uh, uh, uh one with raisins and then one with raisins and walnuts but we want to see what they look like and um so i figured we would do a variety we'll do two with raisins and then we'll do four with walnuts and then so once you get them on here i'm gonna flatten it just a little bit on top with my hand which you just you'll see I'm probably supposed to be making these bigger, truth be told. But you should get like five, five out of each one, out of each bowl. Okay, so these should be one, two, three. So I should be making these bigger. That's what I thought. I'm going to add a little bit more to these. So you should have one more in the bowl once you get done. Because um, I'll tell you, I would not have known if Asthma had not sent us these from New York. Um, we would not have known how big they were supposed to be. But they're huge. And then Levain uh, Bakery, they have, there's a video on YouTube. And you can actually watch the two ladies making these. And it's amazing how big they are. So you see I left enough for one in there. And then this, I might add a little bit more to this one. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to just take the, my hand and just flatten it like this with my hand. bake these for nine to 11 minutes. We'll probably go right at 10 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how they look after 10 minutes and you are supposed to let them set and rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes. So um, I have my next batch in the oven. That'll be 10 more minutes and then I'll add another five to it and then they will have rested a total of 15 minutes. And I got three other cookies. So this recipe, it says servings are 10. So some of them I must have made just a little bit bigger because I got nine in my recipe. So we have our cookies. Uh, these are the ones with just the raisins and these are the ones with walnuts. I cut them so that we could just easily grab one. They have been sitting for 15 minutes total, so they're probably still a little bit warm if I'm honest. Which is good. But the, um, their oatmeal raisin cookies, um, asthma I think sent us like four cookies. Mm -hmm. Those were my favorite out of all four the oatmeal raisin were. But now they do sell other cookies with walnuts. They have like a chocolate chip walnut. So I don't know why they choose not to put, maybe because it's so thick on its own. Mm -hmm. So get one with just... It's good. You know, you only add a little bit of cinnamon, but I can taste it, but it's not strong at all. It's just enough to give you that hint of flavor. That's delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mine aren't as thick as theirs, but... It's pretty close. 
I'm thinking they make theirs. Um, I tell you what, though, a lot of I that, think theirs are bigger. A lot of that depends on how much you push, too. Um, that's true. They, so when you flatten it out, it pretty much stayed the same shape and size that you made it. Mm -hmm. So don't push as much. Just barely flatten it out, and it will right. be thicker. But then again, I don't know that they would bake as well either, because that's pretty pretty um, soft in the middle. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very um, doughy. Mm -hmm. It's not raw. Mm, but it is dope. Mm -hmm. But I love the amount of raisins that like you get that little cinnamon kick. The so texture the is wonderful. Really good. The oats aren't aren't dry. Yours are actually moister than the cookies. Than the, like. Yes, uh, well, because they and you have to realize they were mailed, so it probably took them two days to and get here warm. from New York. And these, yes, these are uh, warm. So um, that probably is why mine are moister. Mm. Um, but we read uh, you use cake flour. We've never bought cake flour before. Why were? The, do you remember why? It's a lighter flour. A light, okay. Yeah. So let's try it with the walnuts. Let's you can try it. one of these, or one of these have walnuts. I'll try this. I'm gonna make sure I get a piece. I see a lot of raisins in that one. Let's see. I love that. You definitely get the walnut flavor. The addition of the walnuts is, is it's just it takes it to another level. It takes it to a whole new level adding those walnuts. I like the walnuts. And no, the, I think I like the original better. And the texture's different. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean the texture of the walnut. I mean the texture of the cookie itself is different. Um, it's like because you added the walnuts, there isn't as much dough. Mm -hmm. And so it cooked more. And it's more of a... Um, it's probably true. The dough is like more yeah, spread out. Yeah, it's more like cakey. Yeah. Um, but I think that is phenomenal. They're very, very good. If you like walnuts, then you'll love it. Um, I think I like the original without the walnuts. Mm -hmm. I like the walnut. Truth be told, you could go either way. Mm -hmm. Or you could oh, split, yeah. double the recipe and make two batches or split the recipe in half and make half and half. Just either know one. that it only it makes 10. So if you're, um, I think my dad's going to be surprised. <laughs> um, he wanted some giant cookies, but I think he'll be surprised that I'm only going to be bringing him seven cookies because mine only made nine. And Kevin and I are going to eat these two. Um, so uh, I know that he will enjoy these seven cookies oh, yeah. very, very no much. So. And especially since, you know, he's never going to have Levine cookies, I'm sure. Nobody's going to send him Levine cookies from New York. Um, and so this will be his opportunity to get to Trump. I think these are delicious. Mm -hmm. um, Modernhoney.com, uh, they have several other Levine bakery recipes so at some point i might try them uh because uh this is absolutely wonderful and they were they were very very easy to make so i hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching